ECW Brawl. I am Kurt Hemi, Ham Sandwich Hampton. Along with me is none other than the Doc Hendricks himself. Doc, we have a lineup. <laughs> we have a lineup for us, for our viewers here tonight. We're kicking things off with women's division. Candy Love versus Nikki Gray. This, again, and I hate to say the word bottom tier, but it is the bottom tier. Nikki Gray at number 10. Candy Love sitting at number 9. Now you can say bottom tier all you want, but these two are fine, fine athletes that I'm sure one day they may get the courage enough to actually find themselves somebody who can help their career like the lovely Rose did at the past pay-per-view. That's right. For those who do not know, can't, uh, not Candy Love, I do apologize. Sasha Rose is your current women's champion defeating Huntra and then the shocking the shocking ending to the match we we find out that Sasha Rose and Wes Wesley are part of did I say the Hendrix Corporation yes the Hendrix Corporation it was great I, I was so proud that we got to announce that that big moment after Rose did the unthinkable that all you peons out there didn't think she could do it. Well, she beat Hunter. And Hunter, I know you're, you're probably wanting to be that title shot, but you see, I thought ahead. Hunter, I'm going to give you a piece of advice as somebody who's a manager. Learn to have a lawyer look over the contract because you see, when you signed that contract to get that, to have that match when it was all signed, because I made sure myself and the corporation and our lawyers went over it very well. You don't get a rematch instantly. You're going to have to earn your shot. <laughs> but don't worry. Rose has a little bit of a surprise for everyone later tonight. That indeed. Here in the temple, you have to earn your shot. But here comes out Candy Love. I hope for her sake, Candy Love, she, stays, she doesn't go out for Halloween. Because there might be some people who want to eat her thinking that she's really a candy ball. Oh, look at you. Stop it. <laughs> I feel like she just... Now I, okay, now I just may not make sense because... Oh, oh, God, bubbles. Not the bubbles. Um, She looks like what would happen if Angelina Love turned Japanese. I'm sorry. Not really, though. Candy Love picking up that... That five-way elimination match. The Which game. was a big shocker. It was a shocker. I was not counting her to win. She she finally got to move up from the war. She's not a the Falcon. She's not the Falcons representative of TCW. She's now like the Vikings representative. She finally got a W. <laughs> and here comes the magician, the dark magician. Wait, Yugi's here? <laughs> I, I I I have I have my trap card ready. I hate to say this, but. I think Nikki Gray has been dealing with some dark magic. I don't want any any involvement with it. But well, she does look like somebody who goes down to New Orleans. Well, I'm just saying. I mean, she used to do those, you know, those kitty parties, you know. Up oh, and there goes the pyro, the magic. But yeah, I, have to, I have to say, pyro, I am shocked. <laughs> <messed up. laughs> I. I I'm just shocked that she won that battle royal. It's just a lot of crazy things has been happening. I mean, these two win big matches. Sasha Rose win finally wins the big one. But here we go. As Felipe rings the bell, nice Russian leg sweep from Gray. Can love didn't take too kind of that. Heather in a headlock. Nikki Gray point pushes her off. Nice duck underneath. Hard clothesline takedown from Nikki. Beautiful clothesline at that. So she's Did playing to the crowd. crowd. Playing to the crowd. Katie Love capitalized on it. That's what I don't do. Why would you play to the crowd? You can do that after you win the match. You should be more worried about getting that W, moving up in the rankings, and getting that money. Oh, nice European uppercut from Nikki. Nikki, yet again with that Russian leg sweep.
Oh, nice kick to the leg. Whips her off the ropes. Nice arm drag from Nikki. Nikki is staying on the gas. That would be the right idea. Stay on the gas and don't let go of the pedal. Nikki going for a pin, pinfall. Only getting a one count. Ooh, a little bit early there for that, in my opinion. Elbow, elbow shot from on the top of the dome. At least the good thing is for Miss Gray here. If she loses the match, at least she can be a good Jean Gray impersonator. Oh, stop it! Matter of fact, well, I got a actually, good idea. that could be a good thing. It could be a good thing. You know, Marvel is still looking for their cast for the X Men. And I just realized then, because you said she's been practicing black magic. Are we sure she hasn't found the Dark Phoenix formula finally that she's been bragging about? Don't know. Oh, oh, nice counter. The little magic trick there from Gray. Candy Love was going for a DDT and f flipped the script. Gray now goes in for a pin. Referee Felipe only getting a one count. Gotta enjoy those one counts that mean absolutely nothing. But, ooh. Except we have a, except we have a guest in the comments that can say, no, not the one count. Well, here's the things about those one counts. Those one counts, they... They do take a toll. You have to kick out. Every time you have to kick out, you're taking more energy away. That is true. Energy gets took away. And as the worst channel ever is in, in the feet, uh, Candy Love now, now boasting. Oh, nice kicks. Oh, counter, counter for counter so far. Oh, nice. Nice way of a Frankensteiner from Greg. No wonder she's a magician. Wait a minute. I feel like Tenantella would be happy right now. What Nikki? What's Nikki going for? Oh, she was going for a spear. Nice leap, Frog, from Candy. Candy Love with the German suplex with the bridge. Only a one count is given. Candy Love letting Nikki get up vertical. Oh, going for that bicycle kick. Access denied, sister. Oh, and a half Boston Crab from Nikki Gray. Miss Gray trying to show she belongs. Again, she's <laughs> these both these ladies are we're in the bottom tier. Now fighting for that number eight spot. I think Hunter's probably now in the bottom too, if you think about it. Oh! What a DDT! Dangerous DDT! And Nikki Gray picks up the victory. Going down, going up to the number eight spot from 10. And Candy will. Don't worry, you'll get a discount after Halloween. <laughs> candy corn, anyone? <laughs> Oh no, no one no one eats candy corn. Probably gonna be those marshmallow peps knowing her. As a replays do not lie. Sometimes replays lie if you if you use magic abilities, which I think we've seen tonight so far. What a nice bridge there. When the German suplex, but this right here would seal the deal that do you believe in magic DDT? Well, Candy Love sure does believe in magic now because she's probably trying to figure out where is she at? Congratulations, Nikki Gray. Oh, don't worry, getting... Miss Gray. We made, sure, we made sure your favorite thing back there, the Dark Phoenix chocolate balls are back there for you. I think she's happy. Oh! I don't. I can't tell if she's happy or she's just disappointed. Well, I think she's Learned happy. <laughs> Learn to smile. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, the icon is in the building. One half of the tag team champions, Lance Walker, spoke to him today about. The incident that happened last week after their uh, tag team match 
Apparently someone had ruined their their locker room after their match. I wonder who it could have been. I mean, could have been anyone. Could have been the family. Could have been the Brothers of Destruction wanting revenge. It could have been the IRS coming to get the money, that the tax money. Well, I had a chance to talk to him. He said he he and X Factor had a, a general idea of who it could have been. Oh, I would love to hear who they think it is. Well, one Lance already said that he 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 knows who it could have been. He said that it could have been bad boys of the dysfunctional family. Saying that they're highly upset that they did not get a title match. Some are even saying that it could be, believe it or not, could be Ecto-1. Ecto-1, that, that would be very surprising, but I know they've... Like, one of them's developed a nice, nasty mean streak the last few weeks on my house show circuit. But he said that he's not going anywhere. So he said, so tonight, somebody better come out and say who did it. You know, some, maybe you shouldn't ask that because, you know, that could come back to bite you in the ass. Lance Walker, icon down in Supernova Pro, Masters of the Ring. 2020 Master of the Ring winner. Royal Tag Team and Tournament Cup winner. And a two and time. Con. And tag two team time. Champion. Yeah, two time tag team champion. This man definitely won answers. Shoot, yeah, I think everybody since, here in the. Sometimes the answers is not the one you're looking for. I think we <laughs> all want to know who, who, who did it. I mean. Well, we already know who did not do it. And that was next the... gen. Mm, that is true, next gen uh, would have not had time to run back there. I mean, if they did, then they're Barry Allen. That or they could have did it beforehand and we didn't know about it after the match. Hmm. Ah. Very true. And this is why here at the Hendrix Corporation, we put cameras in our locker room just to make sure stuff like that doesn't happen. Well, speaking of tag team, let's move into... It, it could have been these guys. Well, I don't think it would have been original sin because of the fact that I think they were probably too busy shopping at... Um, trying to think, what would be a good place for them to shop? Because neither one of them knows what style is. Um... Hmm. Original Sin was probably at Hot Topic again, as usual. You're so bad, man. <laughs> well, I mean, come well, on, look at that hair. Look, look at the one's hairstyle. It looks like I'm an emo boy in an emo world. I'm so sad. Here's my mask friend. He thinks he's a Decepticon, but he's really a knockoff from the C movie, Lot of Dollar Tree. Well, original. Well, if it's not original sin, maybe it could be Tokyo Invasion. I mean, see, both, one, I, both teams see, are former tag Tokyo team sin. champions. It could be Team Tokyo, but one problem: because the locker the locker was probably in English, they probably real, they probably didn't know what locker to go to to begin with. So, if it was them, it was probably an accident. Well, already at at ringside, and here we go. Wait a minute, Razor <laughs> jumping. <laughs> What the heck is Razor doing? Razor really wants to go through with this. Ooh, Blockbuster. Razor wants to fly. Uh, I, I'm kind of shocked about this that, that move. Normally, they do not bust out any high-flying moves out the gate, but apparently he won it. Apparently, he wants to show that maybe they should be the next line for the tag team titles. Maybe so, as, as Razor... Hard clothesline, dark matter. And 
And as Razor bounces the head up, matters up on the hardest part of the ring. Yeah. Well, that probably didn't hurt Dark Matter, you know, he, he's so heavy, his brain's probably in his ass. <laughs> and now the referee Felipe up at five. Oh, and bounces his head off the steel step. What? What is going? What's what's the matter with Razor? He he maybe he wants a count out. Oh, I think Razor snapped into a slum gym finally. As Razor finally br brings DL back in the ring at the count of seven. Sometimes it's better to win by count out if you can. I mean, nothing wrong with winning by count out. Ooh, nice backbreaker from Razor. Bringing something new to the table. Oh, he's going for it again. Ropes with the assistance. It was so nice, he wanted to do it twice. He wants to go for a third time. Oh, my God. Oh, he gets it. Going to the world one too many times. That can cause you the match. Oh, and now Razor tags in June and June. Oh, DL tags in Harima. Double, double drop kicks did not stop June. June tags in Razor. Oh, here we go. Tokyo Drift. Good to be honest. I'm kind of surprised by Original Sin. They're not really. Seems like they haven't been in the match since the start of this. As Razor hit, had that Lion Tamer, Harima Har able to break out. Oh no, over the head, belly to belly suplex from Razor. Razor has been, been on a tear. Razor's new attitude, Razor's got a new attitude that And Harma takes Razor by the hair and swings him half across the ring. I would not Butcher mind seeing. says the most hated superstar is here. Yeah, ah. Roman Reigns. <laughs> I wouldn't mind seeing Harima and Razor go at, go at it in singles competition. That would be a very interesting matchup. I think that it would be a strong, hard-sitting style, and I think the fans would love it, but I don't think their bodies would appreciate it. And now, DL coming back with Avengers hard clotheslines left and right, taking it to Razor. DL now hooks the leg. Only a one count is given from, from Felipe. Our referee, ooh, a hard, stiff clothesline. So twice he made it nice. Two times, two times. He's trying to come back for the team. I think original Sin, who, you know, I do joke about them. They are a decent team, but I don't, to me personally, I don't think they'll ever get up the ranks because they don't, the star is too much the same. If that makes sense. Nice diving elbow drop from DL Matters. And a nice snap suplex from DL. Oh, DL stopping Razor from tagging in his tag team partner. I do think Dark Matter's got a little, little bit of a concussion because he's holding his head a lot. I mean, I wouldn't, wouldn't you? Gee. <laughs> well, if I had to wear a mask to hide how ugly I was, I probably would. I'd probably have a concussion every day if the mail breaks. Oh, stop it. Uh oh. That's why he wears a mask to hide his ugliness from the ward. He DL thinks it's Halloween every day. Hooks it in. Dark and despair. He goes and hooks the leg. June able to stop the count. Oh, DL said, You're not going back to your corner. Get over there. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, this, uh, this could lead to a uh, count out. 
DQ, I should say, because <laughs> he doesn't get out of the ring in time. Razor should make the tag, if I'm being honest. <laughs> well, his tag team partner, him. June, just gave him a, a opening. Oh, nice rebound off the second second rope. Body cross there from Razor. Razor, I don't know what's, go what's gotten into Razor. Razor has been very vicious in this match. Well, like you said earlier at the start, maybe they, maybe Razor was the one who destroyed the locker room because he's showing an angle we have not seen here before. Ooh. Nice wheelbarrow face plant from Razor. Hard am I able to stop the stop the pin attempt? Oh, what a hard, stiff forearm shot from Razor. Razor now go tags in June. Razor said, Razor said, finish him. Finish him. Da, 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 da. And a hard hammer throw. No, you don't mean hammer man. <laughs> I'm being told Iceman is watching. Watching his match in, in the hall on the monitor. Not exactly a safe place to be. There could be a lot of people who'd want to jump him from behind. His tag team, par the, his tag team partner did not destroy the locker room. Partner X Factor getting ready for his his match for next week. Oh yes, that wonderful match. Was, wasn't that such a glorious contract that Wes signed? <laughs> you and you you and dealing with Wes. I, I I I'm you're just wheeling and dealing. Hey, what can I say? A man always has to have a plan A and a plan B. Razor on the top rope. Frog Splash on the DL. Beautiful Frog Splash there too, by the way. June is not done as he throws him back into his side of town. Tags in Razor. I Stereo I Super a... Kick. Oh my God. Ooh. Well, if he didn't have a concussion before, he has one now. Razor goes hooks the leg. Oh, he's using the ropes for assistance. I have... I don't... <laughs> I think and to Tokyo may have changed. They have really. And Tokyo Evasion with the victory. Evasion having a mean streak. Maybe they. We, I might have been wrong, which never happens. But maybe they did jump and destroy the locker room of the tag team champions. Maybe they did. I don't know. For whatever maybe. reason. Hey, it's been a while since. It's been a while since they had their last. Had a. A, a actual title shot. Yeah, because I think the last time they got a title shot was before I started working here, if I recall. Uh, yeah, their last shot at goal was in a ladder match that they came up short. I don't know. Maybe they have. And listen to the fans. They are not applauding. They are actually booing these men for the first time, I think. And, and as Tokyo Tokyo Invasion have now moved up to number three, this is interesting. Yes, it is. And it's going to be interesting to see me. Good thing is since I know how to speak their language, maybe I should go do an interview them for the website later this week you could now we go here in a women's division yet again now I've been this is an important women's match yeah. because oh wonderful women's champion the lovely Miss Rose thinks these three women have never had a chance they've never been able to get a chance at the title because of the politician ways of Hundra 
and Bunny. So she is giving these three young women a chance for the first time ever in their career. And I think we should just applaud Rose and myself for coming up with this great idea because we really care about the other wrestlers. We really want everyone to have a chance and see how bad they'll get their ass kicked by Miss Rose. So if you don't know who these three are, we have the Atlanta Falcons cheerleader, we have the Houston Texans cheerleader, and we have King's sister from, uh, from Tech. You're so horrible. These women have done such great things here in the temple. Let me help. Let me help you out here. On the on the on the left, you have Anna Young. Who needs a new hair job? In the middle, you have Jade Wilson, who is a former women's champion, but. Oh, but no one remembers that reign. That, that reign was like the Falcon, like a, the Atlanta Falcons lead. It's there one day and gone within two seconds. I'll stop it. And then you have the blue chipper, Tiger Star. Who's also not only, not only a wrestler, but a part-time B villain on Spider-Man. <laughs> really? Really, Hendrix? Ever since you got your man, ever since you got your man, your manager's like, so you've just been on some type of mean streak with, with, with the people here in TC Dub. Hey, as my, ch as my teacher, the Dr. Style Slipster said, only speak the truth, and that's what we do here at the Hendrick Corporation. We speak the truth. And out first, here comes Jade Wilson, a.k.a. the Booty Princess. Now she may have a booty, but her hair needs, she needs to learn how to get a haircut. That's what all the girls wear, I guess, apparently. I don't know. I feel like that hair looks like a Christmas tree ornament. I'm sorry. <laughs> if we put some lights on the hair, we can go, Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, we're gonna light up that booty. <laughs> yeah, it's going good, but every day's a good day when you're as handsome as me. Mr. Don't Shank. blow, don't blow up his head. <laughs> then again, blow it up. <laughs> hey, 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 you. You just, I know you, I know you wish you could have your manager's license too, but we need somebody to do the talking. And here comes out Anna Young. Who has who reminds me of a bag of Skittles. So we got Miss Booty versus Miss Taste the Rainbow versus Spider Man villain number twenty. But Anna I Young think has again, been we here. We should all just applaud Rose right now, because Rose came up with this idea. Yeah. <laughs> what are you saying that Rose did pick inferior competition? The lovely Miss Rose and myself oh, would I... never do that. Well, I'm saying is that. Well, we all we all know this. This this could it could backfire. It could be like Rose versus Hunter, and no one would ever expect. A victory see that's but that's the point Rose wants these three women to have a chance to do what she just did that's what makes Rose such a role model for children everywhere particularly female children all the females around the world children or women or daughters should all be applauding Rose and looking up to her as the role model she truly is and but here comes out Tiger Star and for some reason, I'm, I'm hearing the Spider-Man theme song. Na 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 na. She is not a Spider-Man villain. You sure? I she am sure Potvo. Look like one. By um, the way, uh, King Code from Tekken, he wants his mask back. Again, since this is. Sasha Rose doing this is for for number one contendership a title shot. I'm 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 taking it. That is correct. That's that's how Rose Ooh. chose these three women. She wants to see who can step up and do what she did. 
Nice Frankenstein there from Tiger Star. Tiger Star now hoist. Jade Wilson on her shoulder. Shot. Shot her on there with a hot pocket and a snap suplex to follow it up onto Anna Young. And what a kip up from Wilson. Wilson attacking Tiger Star. And a nice sit down jawbreaker. Dropping the booty down. She's all about that base. Ooh, nice snap suplex from Anna Young. Yeah, if this gets any bigger, it's going to be a Pokemon base. Oh, pff. I have no comment. <laughs> One would have to ask, well, you're her manager or manager by association. Who would you? Ooh, nice spinning wheel kick there from Tiger Star that Lucha style. Who would you, out of these three ladies, would you like to see Sasha Rose go up against? To me personally, and Miss Rose, when I asked her, who would you want to face after these three, she said it didn't matter because each one would bring something different to the table. Uh -huh. Miss Rose did say it didn't matter who won because whoever won would be entering a new dimension of pain when she broke them in two. Oh, nice stiff arm shot and kicks and combinations from Jade Wilson to Tiger Star. Oh, Tiger Star answers back. Stiff arm, drop kick, parry, dodge, but thrust. <laughs> me personally, I would not want her to face Tiger just because of the fact that. Oh! Oh my we god. Don't know who she truly is, and it has any worried because she hides behind a mask. And a young stop and Tiger Star dead her tracks. Avalanche backdrop suplex. That looked like it did more damage to Anna Young than Tiger Star. Oh, it. Well, Anna Young is blonde, so that, so that explains that. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> oh, and a leg drop, brother, brother, brother. Chris Hogan's here? <laughs> no, not that dude. <laughs> oh, nice snap suplex from Jay Wilson. Falls to three with a pin. Anna Young there to stop the pin. And Tiger Star rolls to the outside. I see him just sort of doing a leg drop. She should just sprout that fat ass on her. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh... <laughs> I mean, remember, children, if a woman's got a big ass, do not let her do the bonsai drop, because you will die. Oh! Annie Young! After a Frankensteiner went for the pin, Annie Young able to kick out. Oh, what a heart snap of the, of the wrist from... Anna Young taking down Tiger Star, who just came back in the ring. And Anna Young now trying to snap the leg of Tiger Star. Anna Young probably thinking this might be her only chance to get a title shot. Nice leg, scissor head, head scissor takedown. And see, this is why Miss Young doesn't get a lot of wins in this business. He's too cocky. She hasn't done anything after actually proven to be this cocky tonight. Anna Young. Oh! Surprise! Anna Young looked like she was about to get pinned with that crucifix pin from Tiger Star. And now all three ladies are just staring at each other like, what do we have to do? Any young this back. is when it pays to be sneaky and pays to have somebody in your ear telling you what to do and how to win a match like this. Be sneaky. Be, be creative. Let the other two people beat the hell out of each other and then when both of them are out of energy, knock them both down, steal the win, and celebrate with a nice bottle of champagne in the back. Any young now with the camel clutch. Look at... Look, look, oh! That's one thing about oh, oh, nice, her karate there. From Tiger Star, Tiger Star is I, who I feel is the, like the wild card of this match. You have Anna Young, who's been here since ooh season one, and she hasn't really done anything of remembering, has she? <laughs> well, no. Well, she's been here since with oh. 
I, I, Tiger Star is always is surprising me with all these leaps, all these high flying moves. It's gonna it's gonna take a toll. Like right now, Sasha. Uh, I do apologize, not Sasha Rose. I don't know why I'm thinking of your women's champion. Because she's all women's champion. A women's champion you can be proud of. And Jade Wilson goes a pin pin attempt on Tiger Star, and now Annie Young back in trying to take just take punishment. Oh wait a minute, Annie Young sets her up. Pedigree. Well, apparently she studied into the game Triple H. Uh. Ooh. Anna Young thought she had the victory. No way to her Jose. She's going for a pedigree again. She hooks both arms. Pedigree for the second time on Jade. Please Tires. tell me this ain't going to end like Triple H Booker T did because I'd just be a travesty. And Tiger Star, her karate goes over to Jade Wilson, goes for the pin. Trying to pick up the pieces that 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 Young was trying to end the in the match. I don't think it's gonna work. And now Jade Wilson turned the ties, goes for a pin on Tiger Star. Tiger Star kicking out at two. And Young still on the outside. Still feeling the effects from that her karate. Looks like she got dumped on her head a bit. Oh! Wilson was looking for a finisher. Girl, by And Anna Young stopped it, intercepted. Again. She would have won with that. We could have heard bye bye bye. Oh, whoa! Oh, God! Doc, did you see that? I just got two things to say. Holy shit. Oh, and Wilson didn't take too kind of it. Tossing Tiger Star to the outside. And Wilson picking up the pieces. Eating the scraps. Like I said, it'd be sneaky if you want a title opportunity. This ain't about having friends in the business. It's about being a... Champion and making that money. Wilson took too long from the pin tip. Now, Anna Young turning her favor too close to the ropes. She needs to strike by the iron salt where Miss Tiger's on the outside. Oh, wait a minute. Did Tiger start just kick the ref? Well, hey, in a triple threat match, there is no disqualification. Tiger Star just kicked the ref in the back of the head. I'm actually kind of happy she did that. She's, maybe she's realizing that you're not going to just get handed title opportunities. You're going to have to... Oh, and a Tiger Fit kick! By, cleaner, ...by being cleaner by being dirty, but you got to earn them one way or another. Tiger Star hitting that Tiger Fit kick. And now just eliminating Anna Young... And Jay Wilson sneaks from behind on Tiger Star, hitting that teardrop back drop suplex. She hooks the leg. One, two. Oh no! So close, but yet so far away. Hammer lot suplex from Tiger Star, and Tiger Star with the victory. Congratulations, Miss Tiger Star. The good news is you get a chance to dance with the lights on bright with the lovely and deadly Miss Rose, but you'll see very soon that every rose has its stones. Wow. Tiger Star getting an opportunity, a brush with greatness, some would say. You at least now, a Tiger just think now you don't have to worry about trying to be a Spider-Man run. You're actually going to get paid. You don't have to worry about robbing a bank. 
I'm still some kind of formula for Dr. Hockerpuck. Wait a minute, I'm getting word. Oh my god. He is not here. Tell me he's not here. <laughs> Doc. <laughs> Uh, what, did Do he think I came alone tonight? Doc, why is he here? <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> well, for those who do not know who this man is, this man could have had a could have been wearing a World Heavyweight Championship, but he didn't. This man had also broke your ankle. Again, I don't know why you're managing this this monster, this beast. Because you see, there's an old saying, sometimes you have to leave the past in the past. And when I got my manager's license, once, of course, I had Franklin. Franklin said, maybe we should get somebody who could be the heavy hitter, the enforcer. And he suggested Bison, which I would admit at first I wasn't too sure because of what happened to my ankle, but apparently Bison, once we found him training in his secret location, he admitted he probably went a little overboard with my ankle, and he was he was willing to listen. Let's just say Bison has a new, little bit of a new attitude. He still wants to kill people, he still wants to break bones and destroy everyone here, but here's the thing now. He has a brain to go with that plan. He has, he's got the muscles. I got the brains and strategies. So just think now, there's somebody controlling this beast. If I was everyone in TCW, be afraid. Very afraid. Bison, my man. Good thing we decided to nice and ride in that nice little Cadillac to, to the arena tonight, but explain to the wonderful people why you're here. As you can see, Bison's very angry of how he was treated after he lost his title up. He lost his title match. He was pretty much forgotten by the elders. They pretty much didn't do anything, which even I have to admit, he should have still been used after and been still given TV time because he is a dangerous man. And some of you are about to find that out real shortly. Because you see, not only have Franklin and Bison been training together, they just say all oh, other consistent or other person he's also been training work to get him ready to get him well to be dangerous bison is pretty much saying if you don't understand what he speaks he's the one who said he wanted to have the television champion's head on a silver platter he wants to be the one to take a title off of him, but not which one. Wait, J why is he interrupting us? Don't look at me, Bison, I have no idea. He does know we have an agreement with his with the leader of the dysfunctional family, Mr. West, right, Bison? No, 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 Jim. Hey, hey. You may not like it, but me and West, we have a deal going. We're working together. So whatever problems you have with my boy Bison. They can wait till after everything's done. If you 
don't heed the warning. I ain't gonna be able to control this, man. Wes is gonna have to look for a new family member. So maybe you should be smart. Realize something. This is not about you. This is this is about West and the TV title right now. Ah, uh, Jim, Jim, Jim. You know you you keep yapping. It's not going to help West next week. You should be concentrating, putting that energy to making sure West walks out with the TV title like we're trying to do. We're coming up with a plan to actually help you get the title back and you just want to run your mouth come on oh bison bison calm down calm down bison you want to hit him I understand just pretend he's the punching bag at the at the corporation building you can get your hands on him later on after the deal the plan is done at the pay at the TV title match Jim, 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 do you really want to throw the plan away? Do you really want to throw this little alliance deal we have going on just because you want to be an egotistical maniac? Sometimes you have to put your ego aside for the greater good. He what said, you're doing is not being the greater good. He said that he knows who destroyed the Ice Factor's locker room. Oh, I would love, oh, if he thinks he does, does he? Well, me and Bison would love to know who do you think destroyed it. He, he said he's staring at him. Do you really think Bison would do that? No, Bison's the kind of person who would rather destroy you face to face, Jimmy. So if you're going to accuse somebody, make sure you have a video proof and be don't. And I mean don't. Cross somebody who's got a deal with your boss. This is interesting. Uh, west, 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 you need to control your boys. I'm holding up my end of the deal. I got you the TV title match. I got you the... Oh! You need to have the stick. Uh, and... You see? You see, Hendrix? Unhinged monster. You can't control him. I told Bison... I told Jimmy to get out of there, but Jimmy didn't listen. West, I'm sorry, oh. but this is on your boy Jimmy's fault, not mine. As John, he as gave John, him a chance to walk away. As Johnny No Name just take major punishment from Bison. I'm not saying anything. This is Jimmy's fault. Bison, me and Bison told him he could leave. Don't mess up the plan we have going. Do not mess up the deal we have. And Jimmy's trying to throw it away. Bison, Apparently. Bison, come here, come here, come here, come here, Bison. Listen, worry about Jimmy next week or next week or whatever, right? We got bigger plans to deal with. We got the TV title match we have to do. You want Jimmy's head? Fine. But we'll do it after the TV title match. Remember, we helped while handing up our end of the bargain. West will do his part after the ship TV title match. Jimmy wants to fuck it up. Wes would deal with him, hopefully. If not, we will take care of it. Well, as no Bison, go to the back. Well, as he's talking to his his eight his his client, we have a champion versus championship match. Champion versus champion match. Jimmy Two Fly versus King Kings, the World Heavyweight Champion versus the United Nations Champion. This should be gold. Man, this is going to be... I've been looking forward to this match. And here comes out the World Heavyweight Champion. Looking the gold at... Who the hell is... Who the hell... <laughs> That's Fergus <laughs> Taylor! Did you, remember when I said I, di I didn't come alone yet? Bison's not the only one here tonight. What the? What the? The, Hend the Hendrix Corporation, we are not letting, let's just say, 
He wants his revenge. Sorry, Jimmy. I respect you. But you got it coming. Well, that has been TCW Brawl. We will see you next week. We're not going to have a main event. Oh, the poor fan.